just kind of go through camp so far and, and how it's been different than some of the camps you've seen in the past. I mean, you know, it's the, the normal camp grind mentality. I mean, uh, just getting our fun, fundamentals down and, you know, building that foundation, building that culture. Um, every year you got to restart it um, from from where you left off. If you can bring bring some stuff forth and then uh, and just keep building, building that team chemistry. What's it been like working with some different guys around you throughout training camp? Yeah. It's like both guard spots have been switched up a lot. I mean, what's kind of changed things, or how has that changed things for you? Yeah, I mean, it's just building chemistry, like I said. Like, you know, we're meeting in the meeting room with more time. Um, you know, just getting getting to know your guys, too. I mean, I think this a lot of stuff is just making your relationships off the field as much as here and, and having that ability here in, at Oxnard and, you know, being in the Airbnbs here and on the property. I think it's, it, builds, it builds a lot of culture and it builds a lot of camaraderie in that sense and um, but we're having fun with it you know these young guys you know we got we have some great great talented high effort guys and it's uh it's, it's great to build that team chemistry and uh you know each day we're getting better and better and that's and that's the point of camp when when mike and brian talk about the, the changes they talk about the protection and maybe getting the ball out quicker at times how how does it impact you what what differences have you seen from what your responsibilities are as far as how this all ties in together now yeah i mean i mean some some protections we um that are built differently that we 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 put in, um, but I mean from the standpoint of protecting the QB, that's the main the main objective, obviously. Um, you know, and just firming up the pocket for Dak and uh, and all our QBs, and um, and that just goes to show like you know the play lasts forever, and we got to make sure we we pass back forever. So well, you're coming off of uh, what you can say is a career season, Pro Bowl now. Um, from your standpoint, what are you looking to do to kind of take the next step in your profession as a as a coach? And I just think like you know, just lead, leading this group. I think that's a, that's a big part for me. And I think uh, just with my my job responsibility in itself, I think you know, just being the best center, the best version I could be of myself, but also for my teammates. You know, we, again, like how you guys said before, we, you know, we got some younger guys, we got new new guard spots uh, this year, and um, just be, but being all on the same page. And I think like you know, you know, Dak says it a lot too of just making sure we're all on the same page, all eleven. It's not just about our room. It's not just about the tight ends. About all. You know, O-line, tight ends, QBs, running backs, wide receivers, you know, all those guys. And uh, making sure, like, we're all on the same page and, you know, we're going through the install. And, like, we're always talking, whether it's in the meeting room or outside of the meeting room. And we're, we're making sure everything's crystal clear. And I think our coaches do a great job of that, um, making sure it's, you know, clean as cut and, like, we're perfecting it. That's that's the main thing. We're, like, we're going for excellence. How and, would you um, describe Coach Solari? Va- very high effort guy. I mean, this guy is the most consistent person I've seen. And, like respects of just who he is not even as, as a coach but like as as a person as a human as a coach in itself like he's the most consistent guy I've, I've, I've met probably and um no he's just, he comes in with a very high effort but you know again like I said before like we're, we're chasing perfection and we're chasing greatness and that excellence of like who we are um in inside the meeting room and on the field and out and outside I mean just even as people too like we're building a great camaraderie and great culture here and uh it's a great opportunity for us to build team chemistry. Tyler, what do you see in Brandon Cooks and what he's brought to this offense yeah, I so think, far? Yeah, I think he's brought great leadership to the wide receiver room. I think, you know, just with his experience and everything, like you, you guys have, you know, veteran guys that have that great great leadership role with CD, you know, MG and Brandon Cooks and all those guys. Like, you know, it's a great led room. I think um, just with all those guys, they do a great job of just, you know, setting the standard. What's impressed you the most about Tyler Smith and how far has he come in the last year, even though he had a great rookie? Yeah, I think his versatility is it's it's great. I mean, for him to be able to go to tackle the guard um, last year and then going back to guard um, to start a camp right now and and where he's playing, like I think his versatility and his uh, his athletic ability um, and his explosiveness is it's it's a it's a great feature that um, you know when you have that you can do a lot with it and I think he's uh he's trying to he's trying to make sure he puts his best foot forward and making sure he's he's the best version of himself we're What's talking about different protection schemes is it just are you looking for certain keys defensively where that trips you into that or, or how I guess you're just your thought process as you go through that and kind of yeah I think every protection has a difference in what you're doing so I mean um, regarding of what it is, yeah, you're always looking for keys on the defense, and you're always looking for what the you know declaration is and what the schematic is in that personnel or whatever the protection is. What's it been like facing Mozzie Smith for the first couple weeks of camp? Yeah, he's a good player. He's a good player. No, he's you know he has he has some great features. I mean, um, you know he's coming along. I think you know obviously like 
when you come in as a rookie, like, you know, there's a lot of things that you have to learn and you have to know and everything like that in respect to that. So I think he, he's getting put at a lot of different positions on defense and, and that just shows his versatility too. So I think, um, you know, he's a good player and like we're excited for him, you know, and like what he's done. And um, But, you know, the ceiling is, you know, he has a high ceiling. Have you uh, had any quote unquote wow moments as it relates to Deuce Vaughn? I mean, in the play when you see him just teleport from behind the line of scrimmage and suddenly he's at the second level and you just kind of, you're in the middle of the play and you're like, wow, how did he get there that quickly? Yeah, I think, you know, Deuce has a great great job of just reading gaps. I think I think that that's a big thing that sticks out. And, you know, he, he uses his his ability of himself to, to do that. I think, um, you know, he can, you know, he, how he shields the ball, like how he how he runs through, you know, break, you know, splitting two and seeing two, you know, like all that stuff is great. And, um, you know, he's he's been really putting his best foot forward, too. And I think I think the main message out of all this is that, like, you know, you know, we're we're here to win and, you know, every rep. And I think that that effort like we gotta keep pressing that tempo and we gotta keep keep going and I think even like the rookies and and all those guys like we have a great we have a great room on offense and you know we're, we're definitely striving for that for that greatness so Thanks, Thank you. Appreciate you